The Jacksonville Jaguars are at odds of 90 to 1 to win Super Bowl 52. They are at 36 to 1 odds to win the AFC and 5.5 to 1 odds to win the AFC South. Their season win total for 2017 is set at 6.5 games. The Jacksonville Jaguars thought they found their franchise quarterback in the 2014 NFL Draft. Instead, Blake Bortles has led the Jaguars to an 11 and 37 record in three seasons. As a result, former head coach Gus Bradley was let go before the 2016 season ended. Now Doug Marone takes over to help turn around the dismal franchise. The 2017 season won't necessarily be Bortles' last season with the Jaguars. However, he must show ability to become a franchise quarterback this season. The Jaguars have the best collection of offensive talent since Bortles joined the organization. Unfortunately, the Jaguars have not finished higher than third place in the AFC South. Overall, Blake Bortles has an 11-34 record as a starting quarterback. He's also thrown 69 touchdowns, but 51 interceptions. Yet it was the setback in Season 3 that should concern the Jaguars the most. During his rookie year, Bortles threw 11 touchdown passes. He struck opposing defenses with 35 touchdown passes in 2015. The Jaguars also won five games that season. So last season was supposed to be another step in the right direction. Instead, Bortles threw just 23 touchdown passes and 16 interceptions. More importantly, the Jaguars dropped back down to just three wins. Bortles only completed 58.9% of his passes with a plethora of available wide receivers. The last time they won more than six games was during an 8-8 eight eight season in 2010. In fact, the Jaguars have only recorded two double-digit winning seasons since the turn of the century. Hopefully help is on the way. Doug Marone went 15-17 as a head coach with the Buffalo Bills, and after becoming the interim head coach last season, Marone split their final two games. The Jaguars added quite a bit of defensive talent through free agency. Cornerback A.J. Boy will become the centerpiece for the Jaguars' defensive backfield. He is joined by Arizona's Calais Campbell and Dallas Cowboys safety Barry Church. All three players are penciled in as starters this season. The Jaguars need them to be playmakers on a team that gave up 25 points per game. If the young stars develop in training camp, the Jaguars could pose a real threat defensively. With the new guys coming in, the Jaguars had to lose a few young players entering their prime. John Cyprin signed with the Tennessee Titans. A pair of offensive linemen also left the team. Left tackle Kelvin Beecham headed to the New York Jets, while Luke Jockel is now with the Seattle Seahawks. One thing is for sure, Blake Bortles must play better this season. Sometimes teams hit their stride a year later than expected, and it would not be a surprise to see the Jaguars elevate their play during this regular season. However, the AFC South also looks to be better than it has been in recent years. The addition of top draft choice running back Leonard Fournette gives the offense a powerful punch. They need that and more this season. The Jaguars averaged just 19.9 points per game last season. One reason is they only scored eight rushing touchdowns. In fact, Blake Bortles tied for the team lead with three rushing touchdowns. So we know what Leonard Fournette needs to bring to the table. We are bullish on the Jaguars this year, as last year a bunch of wins slipped away in the last moments of the game. Improved defense and a better running game should get the Jaguars over their six and a half game win total with an outside shot at the playoffs.